Hello, and welcome to Lynchburg Live. This is our 13th Lynchburg Live, and I think it's kind of cool that it's following Halloween show. Uh, I'm your host, Linda Smith, and Halloween is just around the corner, and when we think about Halloween, we naturally think of parties and costumes and kids going trick-or-treating. Uh, it's also about ghouls and goblins. People decorate their homes to look like haunted houses, and it's a night of fun for just about everybody. But ghosts, apparitions, and hauntings are an interest all year long of my guest Sue Serino and her team of ghost hunters. Sue and three members of Ghost Tech are here with us tonight, and I'm pleased to have you, Sue. And if you'll introduce your team to us, um, and just tell us what Ghost Tech is. I certainly will. <laughs> this is Gary Hall, Jonathan A and Sandy Ayers, and we are a portion of Ghost Tech, and Ghost Tech stands for Ghost Hunters of Southern East Coast, okay. and we are paranormal investigators. How many other people do you have? You we have a 10, okay. and uh, it, it's a close-knit, close friend, close family, and uh, we work well together. I, I just think it's kind of neat. Sue and her group is, have come and talked to our science fiction group before, and they're very, this is a very serious thing with you all. I mean, yes. this is, this is uh, something that they do very seriously, and um, you know, I want to present it that way, but it seems like a really good thing to do <laughs> at Halloween. <laughs> uh, what exactly does your organization do? Uh, okay, we, we all uh, have an intense love of paranormal, so we're scientifically working to try to prove that there's life after death. That's basically what our team does. We, uh, we work from a scientific uh, level. And you're the organizer of this group? Yeah, my <laughs> sons and me. Sue is, is a semi-retired nurse. Yeah, yeah. And if, if you know enough nurses, you know that when nurses retire, we're not satisfied just to sit on a porch and mm. rock and do word search puzzles. No. I, we, we do other things. Um, so how did you get started with it, Sue? Uh, when I did retire, my two sons said, Mom, how about let's get it together now and go ahead and take uh, make a website and take it live and you've got the time to do it now so let's do it so we did <laughs> just spectacular uh, how long how long have you been doing this oh personally I've been ghost hunting for probably 30 some years but ghost tech evolved in 2005 and we took it live in 2006 I just think that's so interesting um, now the rest of you all do specific members act as specific parts of your ghost hunting team? Like, Sandy, do you go and, and control uh, audio, or does somebody specifically do video, or mm -hmm. how are you all? Do you have specific jobs on your team? Well, Gary and Jonathan handle the honest part. Uh, we all take cameras and a digital recorder, uh, things like that for any each event, but they are basically the ones that handle all the electronical things. Investigating hauntings. Where geographically do your investigations take you? Anybody can answer these questions. I just directed the first several at Sue. Well, let's start right here with Gary. He's He's been to several. Oh, yeah. I mean, just a few weeks ago, we went to Maryland and Pennsylvania on uh, a couple of investigations. Um, not, we don't all go on every investigation, but some of the members do. On uh, circumstances, uh, we have to work. Uh, but yeah, Sandy uh, mm -hmm. has been to California. She, I think that's the longest distance investigation. Uh, she investigated the quick uh, ship. And I just came back from Ohio from doing an investigation. Now, was, was this a trip that you were on personally that you ended up doing a, an investigation while you were there? Or Which one? It, the one you just came back from. Uh, no, I pur purposely went there to do that. Yeah. But, but mostly you all operate up and down the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had been to, uh, to New York, but actually before we formed the Ghost Tech, I had been to New Orleans, to 
to Salem, Massachusetts, and um, Savannah. So a lot of places with the, uh, the, the same brush. You brought some pictures. And if, if uh, Phil will, can go on and run the pictures, Sue and her will try to explain to us what these pictures are. Okay. This is the Marshall House, and it's uh, the oldest hotel in Savannah, Georgia, and supposed to be haunted. Of course, they don't show on cue to see anything while we were there, but it's, it's a beautiful old hotel. This is Booby Brewery and Central Hotel in Mount, it's Mount Joy, Tanya. And we've all been there, and we went there for conferences. This is uh, the Dr. Samuel Mudd home. This is his office, um, and it's in Waldolin. Uh, he was the doctor that treated uh, John Wilkes Booth uh, after Booth shot uh, Lincoln. Uh, he was injured, and he went to the Dr. Mudd's home. This is... Um, the uh, place in Pennsylvania that Nancy and Peggy and I went, it's the Farmer's Hope Inn uh, in Mannheim, Pennsylvania, <coughs> and uh, built in the late 700s, uh, and it's, it's quite haunted. Oh, is there one? This is our, our uh, poster board for David Avenale. We're currently doing a ghost lecture and tours, and this is a uh, board we have set up in the dining room at the Avenel Plantation in Bedford where it has pictures um, taken there and other investigations and some of our newspaper uh, articles that we've clipped out and posted for people to read. This is the Ghost Tech team in its entirety. Starting on the back row, that's Jonathan, Gary, Gary's wife Nancy, my son Joe, me, my son Scott, and in the front row is Sandy. And then there's Alice, my son Joe's wife, Susie, my son Scott's wife, and Peggy Grable. And of course, you know, she's missing tonight. We're, we're just very few. <laughs> this is the Bird Theater in Richmond. Uh, it's in the Carytown District in downtown Richmond, uh, built in the 20s, still in operation today, and it's uh, purported haunted by Robert Coulter, the original uh, manager, and uh, we had the opportunity to spend the night there a couple of nights. This is Mausoleum, uh, also in Richmond, uh, in the downtown area in the Hollywood Cemetery, and um, Mr. Poole was uh, purported to be a uh, vampire and uh, we did some camera work there this is me at a um, <coughs> former teacher I had when I was in middle school who's now a close friend of ours uh, she is working at a different school now and she asked me to come down and do a uh, speech to the class and take a, a Q&A and we were down there I think <coughs> uh, this is the first, second time? Second time. Second time we've been, and uh, I spoke to the class for uh, two class periods. And uh, this is me on the Queen Mary uh, at the uh, door opening number 13. Um, many years ago, uh, deck on, uh, hand deck on the, on the ship was crushed in this doorway, and it's reported that his ghost has been seen uh, many times in this area. This is the covered bridge, one of the few covered bridges left. It's Saks Bridge, and this is in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. 